So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages an opponent from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find him. He's a sniper. The jab always puts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Nice execution on the tee. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes, not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Sidekick is there. Oh, nice kick. He tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Good jab. Hands on your face. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, nice. Nice. Hands higher. Hands higher. Now he lands a solid punch. Just over three minutes to go now. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Bobby's not going to recognize him. His nose is getting all sweat. I mean, he's getting better. He's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying to play catch up. He's not moving his head in advance of the jab coming. This boxer is way too good to try to react to the shots opposed to getting ahead of him. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Leg kick is true. Back to the jab now. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Big power shot there. 
Just over two minutes to go. Troy gets caught by the inside leg. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Very fast jab lands for No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Back and forth we go. Oh, another beautiful combination there, DC. If this is not his best striking performance in the UFC, I'm not sure what was. We've never seen him look so good. And confidence starts the combination. Combinations come from confidence in believing that all the reps that you have done in the gym is going to show itself when the octagon door closes. Tonight, it has been just that for this fighter. Good stick. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Nice punch to the head. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he's fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Missed with that right hand. Ten seconds now in round one. Round two straight ahead. Stop. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands. Causes this cut, opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut, but if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper, and he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move your head. You ready to fight? Really choose ready. the times in which you're go. going to advance to try to get to this guy. you got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking his shots. And, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing, but that corner was fired up. They want him to be more dis defensively sound as this fight continues. Nice punch by Choi. Tags him with the left. Effective jab there by George. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Big overhand right. Lands a huge flying knee. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Get out of there. Straight punch land. Nice straight right lands. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that towel tie and land those nice elbows around the bar. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here on the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Straight right hand now just misses. Connects with a beautiful jab. Joy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. But you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent with the loss, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Under a minute now to go round two. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Establishing the jab. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Straight right is there. Big shot lands for both guys. Final seconds here of round two. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land the fight on the spot. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut, but a definite source of adversity here after this round. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. You ready to fight? He's got to get out of the way ready. more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, Somebody's got to help him, yeah. because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh! Beautiful spinning attack there. Oh, big knee to the body. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain. He's going to go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really sit down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Man, that cut has really opened up. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Choi. 
Oh, good block there. And that one certainly found the target. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, nice jab by Choi. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. See if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, that overhand big weapon form throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. The choice strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice knee. Oh, you hurt him again, bro. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Solid punch by him there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Chin down, hands up. Good work, come on. This is around the tank. Hook lands. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Under a minute now to go. Lands a quick jab. All right, so the cut is getting out of control. The corner doesn't seem to be in any great rush to throw in the towel, but you got to think we're going to get some referee involvement here soon. Well, we get to the stool. If we get to the stool, they're going to look at that cut, and they're going to stop this fight. Because not anyone with a brain can look at that and know that this guy should not be in the fight anymore. Final 30 seconds of this third round. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Able to check that kick as well. Final seconds of round three. Oh. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Let's open up that cut more now. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved. Somebody's got to do something. 
it's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Wow, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly. <laughs> His opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite... Oh! oh! He got hurt again. Joy gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Such a good right here. He's, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh! Needs a big knee! Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Fast jab lands there. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking beats. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Effective use of the jab by Choi. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the match. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having... Oh, another one. Strike lands cleanly there. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Throwing that jab, no good. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. He's cut. Give the elbow. Nice work, guys. Scoop and shoot. Oh! Shots being landed on both sides here. Please watch. Oh, he hurt him again. Back to his feet. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. in the can, five to go. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Don't be stupid. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. We have arrived at this fifth and final round.
tags him with the uppercut. Uppercut is there again. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just touching him with the jab. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked, though, by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful punch to the body. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice. Right hook to the head block. Straight punch is true. Fighter lands a kick now, and a pretty good one at that. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice jab by Choi. He's got to use a whole southpaw, or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Nice block. A jab. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Yeah. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Super Bowl. Another big shot to the head. Immediately gets the underhook. Now some separation from his clutch position. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Pretty strong jab there by Shore. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. He's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. Beautiful left punch lands. And he blocks the shot there. We'll work with that jab. Jab lands. Kick. Oh! With that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Chong.